Good morning, guys. Just a few updates of what's been going on the last couple of weeks. Some things I can talk about, some things I can't. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to the next chapter vlog. This is Art, and just wanted to give a few updates on what's been going on the last few weeks. Oh my god, what, where do I start? The thing I cannot talk about, and I'm looking at forward at some point to talking with you about it, because I'm going to need a lot of feedback from you all on it. Uh, but the end around in all this was last week, I was asked, to, by a local police department to give a statement over something I witnessed. And I was not expecting to do that. Um, and that's about all I can say at the moment because it is an ongoing investigation. Everybody is okay. Let's, let me, let me put that out there. Everybody's fine. Nobody is in my family is hurt. Um, but I will leave it at that at the moment. But as to the updates, I am now T minus two weeks before my big drive trip to Flagstaff, Arizona, and I'm looking forward to this. So I've started gathering the things that are non packing related together. Packing should take me an hour or two when I get that far. I know what I want to bring. Uh, I know I still need to figure out what I need to bring. I got to check the weather, but I can't really do it yet since it's kind of far out and weather forecasts more than two or three days are really not that accurate. So what I've started to do is put together a number of things and I'm going to show you those now. Okay, um, yeah, we're recording. Uh, one of the big things I'm trying to put together is items to load onto my GPS receiver. I'm charging it right now. And so through my geocaching account, I've created what are known as pocket queries. I can run 10 pocket queries a day and I can have up to 1,000 caches in each pocket query based on certain criteria. Here's one I ran this morning and I'll just kind of show you the details, um, things I want to see, what I want to see, where I want to see, um, date ranges in this case because I'm pulling all of Colorado plus Utah and in Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico, near the highways I'll be driving on. So I've got those together. And to create these Colorado ones, just for reference for my geocaching friends, I have an account with projectgc.com, and they have this pocket query splitter that tells you how to build the queries. And as you can see, just for Colorado alone, I've got 26 pocket queries, and like I said, I can run 10 a day, so this will take about three days just to finish Colorado. And then, through the magic of doing some other things, creating caches along, creating a pocket query of caches along a route, I've done ones for Moab to Flagstaff, Flagstaff to Albuquerque, um, then I have Grand Junction to Moab and then Albuquerque to Raton because that day driving back from Flagstaff to Albuquerque is going to be a long day. I don't know how much I'll stop on the road. I do want to stop at the Petrified Forest National Park. Uh, that's, that's a definite on my return trip. So I've got that going. Uh, and what I've also got going is somewhere in here is a folder of everything I need. I'm putting together copies of things. And also as part of this trip, I'm going to the Grand Canyon. I'm taking the train up there uh, that like the first full day I'm in town. Um, so I also want to film in there. But since I am a vlogger, I need a filming permit for the Grand Canyon. And the reason I'm getting this filming permit is there's another YouTube channel I follow and this couple did a video in Yellowstone National Park, published it in YouTube, and somebody reported them. And there was no way they could uh, claim mercy or ignorance. 
and they got fined well into five figures uh, for for filming without a permit, even though it was just the two of them and a handheld camera. Um, so yeah, I prefer to not run afoul of the government. So that's that's why I've got this this filming permit. It was a hundred dollars. Uh, I think it'll be money well spent in the long run. Um, and it's better than the thousands or tens of thousands of dollars that could be fine. Uh, other updates, and I'm going to go through here. Uh, I have been going and using Masterclass. This is something I purchased with one of my severance benefits uh, to, uh, God, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, to uh, basically go find another job. There's outplacement services. I decided. I'm not going back to work. I'm done. I'm 65 now. Uh, I've got a fairly moderate nest egg. Um, I I just don't want to look for a job right now, if ever again. So I did master class. So a couple of things I've been looking at. First one, I fall, I watched this session on making compelling videos that go viral. Well, nothing's gone viral for me yet, but I've learned about these items within here. Uh, Marcus Brownlee, uh, from a YouTube perspective, he has 16 million subscribers. So that tells me he is somebody you should be listening to. And I did that. Um, it gave me a good start, but I felt there were some things lacking on how to properly format a YouTube channel. There's a lot there, and I just didn't feel I was in the right frame to do that. So um, I actually found another gentleman actually on YouTube called Marcus Jones. And I've been, I'm subscribed to his videos. He's provided some good things I would have never thought about in doing a YouTube channel. I would definitely recommend him uh, for, uh, for uh, learning how to actually get a, get things to go as you should. Um, the other master class that I found that I've start, just started is this series by Michael, Michael Lewis. He wrote Moneyball and he wrote the, the uh, book, uh, what's the other book? Um, I forgot, uh, Blindside. He wrote those two novels among others. And so he's somebody worth listening to. And I would like to learn how to tell a story better. So I've started watching him and it, so far, episode one was fairly interesting. It's only four episodes, about an hour each. So we'll be good there. Okay, last things on the trip. My daughter's going to take care of the two dogs, so they're covered. Um, the young one is slowly settling down. I mean, he's got ways to go, but he's no longer chewing on furniture, messing on my carpet. Um However, he likes to wake me up at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> so some nights sleep is elusive. Uh, my reading, I'm way behind on reading. And the excuse I'm going to make is the National Hockey League playoffs have started. Um, and when you get two to three games a night, it really messes with your schedule. Um, I've also rejoined a fitness club. And I've been trying to go there at least four times a week, some days five. Uh, I went last night. I'm going to go tonight, um, and we'll go from there, and we'll see how things work. Um, now that I'm on the Medicare Advantage plan, we finally have all my prescription drugs straightened out, and I'm back on Ozempic, which I couldn't get under the other plan that I was on you know, between the time I left my job and now. So we'll see what happens that should also help with the weight um, as one of the side effects. So we'll see as I took my second dose this morning. And what else is going on? Oh, man. Like I said, that that issue that I had to give a police statement for weighs on my mind continuously. Um, we'll see what happens. I, like I said, I don't want to talk about it now because it's an ongoing investigation. Uh, and I have not heard one way or the other on it. So we will see what happens. I know there's something else I wanted to say. And, of course, I didn't write it down. That, that always 
It always frustrates me. I'm lazy in that. I don't write things down, and I should because I forget things. I'm 65. I forget things. Um, but I would like to thank all of you. That's probably the big thing. I've picked up. We've picked up more subscribers for this channel. It's been going great. I've been doing daily YouTube shorts, usually about under a minute, 15 seconds to a minute, depending upon the topic. And it's usually what day is it today? Uh, today was National Beverage Day, so I did a real quick one. I will usually insert something unusual in my description of things to kind of throw it, kind of throw the viewer off a little bit. I, for Star Wars Day, I put in a Star Trek quote in the video, and people go, it's Star Trek! Well, I like both. So, get over it. Um, but anyway, thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing this channel. Thank you for giving me thumbs up on the, on the stuff I'm putting out there. This, this channel is going real well. Um, I will be adding other things to it. Like I said, I'm getting ready for this trip in two weeks, so um, expect videos coming out of that. And until then, this is Art, and we'll see you next time.